Finally, Eva, my question for you is in terms of networking. We talked about briefly in one of the videos that networking is important for job seekers in terms of finding uh, their dream job or when they're applying for a job. So what tips do you have for job seekers in terms of networking tips or networking strategies or what they should do to elevate their job search by using the networking, the power of networking? Yes, a very important question. And I would even say this is not only for job seekers. I think that is the mistake that people make is that they think that they should only start networking when they're looking for a job, but that's too late. So my advice would be networking is something that everyone should be doing on an ongoing basis. And before people think, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> I, I don't necessarily mean that you have to go the traditional way of networking all the time, go to events and share business cards and uh, because that, that is not necessarily the, the thing that's going to help you further. I think what um, the internet allows us for now is there's so many other ways of networking that are more about information sharing, right? Seeking out like-minded people. The way that you and I connected for this interview, for example, right? And it was actually someone else connecting us, uh, yes. if I remember well, Matt Burns. So yes. this is another thing that some people have that natural talent or just the, the intent to always be thinking of connecting others. Yes. And, um, and I think that is so powerful. Um, so always be open for that conversation. Always be curious. Uh, engage with people's content, like I mentioned before. So that is, is going to help you. So for example, the job that I'm in currently is not because I send a resume. I, and I hope to never have to send a resume in my life because I don't like that way of recruitment. And I think it puts, it puts the, the, the job seeker in a very disadvantaged position, right? It's super challenging uh, because they're competing with a hundred other people and, and, and uh, it's about keywords and they don't always get a chance to tell their story. So you have the chance to tell your story and to connect with others online and on events. So seek out those people in real life. Uh, if, they're na if they're close to you, you know, suggest to grab a coffee if you find someone's content interesting, for example, or otherwise, you know, just exchange um, um, via, via email. But I think it's an ongoing thing and the people, um, most people make the mistake of not doing any of that until they need it. And to go into networking with an ask, like, oh, I wanna connect with you because I need a job, is never a good thing. So yeah. that's why I think it's so powerful to do it on an ongoing basis. And there's so many different ways of doing it. And even if you're an introvert like myself, and I, I'm not the person who enjoys going to huge events and, and going around and selling myself and, and leaving cars everywhere. Even for me, it now it's so easy to do because I'm actually, it's, it's real what I'm doing. It's not fake. I'm not necessarily selling myself. I'm seeing if I can help others and maybe others can help me. And it's basically more of a, um, equal relationship, right? Yeah. That you build with people, and maybe in the future, I think that is all sort of planting seeds for potential, you know, opportunities in the future. So um, I, I would say it's an ongoing thing. Make sure you do it all the time, and it doesn't have to be painful. Yeah, and in from from my experience, I usually go to a networking event with an intent at least to meet three new people and ask questions, something what's curious about or what their intent in coming to this event, you know, so that we can have something to talk about and so that, you know, meeting new people and as you mentioned, uh, networking on LinkedIn is becoming very popular. I would say n not just send a connect. With the connect, also send a message, you know, I, I found your uh, profile, I think we have something in common, we went to school together or you love pets or you're doing something, so that there's a connection on the same level that will help uh, the connection and then go from there. And also you mentioned that about it's, it's about ongoing process and it's not that you're selling yourself, it's also becoming like your personal brand. How are you presenting yourself on social media or platforms like LinkedIn this is, is also becoming something that our recruiters are checking when you send your resume, right? Absolutely, yes. And, and there's so much opportunity out there that not a lot of people tap into. Yeah. So that, that would be my advice, yes. Yeah. And with that, my interview with you, Eva, comes to an end. Again, thank you for taking the time to ask you a few questions that will be very beneficial for my audience or anyone watching in terms of job seekers or transitioning to a new country or a new job. Thank you for that. 
uh, for the audience, if you have any other tips in terms of networking that's helping you, please leave it in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel so that you are aware every week and I'm posting the videos. Reach out to our LinkedIn profile, mine or Eva, we are more than happy to help you. And tune in next week for another interview series with me. And thank you, Eva, and hope we can meet one time in New York or here in Vancouver. Absolutely. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.